Hi, this is Fountain here and today I'm going to talk a little bit about busking. So I'm also going to use a little bit of footage of um, my first ever few busks that I did with a um, Native American flute. It's an F sharp and it's tuned to 432 hertz. However, being a wooden instrument, um, it can change its, uh, I guess you could say frequency or hertz is probably more the term I should use. Um, depending on the temperature of the wood, which is obviously influenced by the um, geographical location and whatnot that it sits in. So I won't go too much into that, but anyway, I just wanted to touch on a little bit about busking. And some of you may have busked before, some of you never have, some of you may see buskers all the time, and some of you may have never seen buskers. I find myself using the word busking a lot, although I would prefer not to, because I know in some countries the word busking has kind of like different connotations um, to it than, one, than what I would use the word for. Um, so probably street performing is probably more the preferred term. That people like to use and yeah so what is street performing well it's basically performing some kind of art on the street for people you know whether um that you know that could be things like music it could be um, acrobatics it could be um you know poetry it could be you know singing um acting painting all those kind of things and often like people will give gratitudes for that. So it could be like people might exchange like, food or they might offer accommodation or they might um, give you money and things like that as well just to say thank you for, um, for performing for us. And yeah, I mean obviously street performing has been around for a very long time, probably almost as long as there has been streets. Um, I can't really talk too much in regards to whether that sort of thing occurred in ancient times it probably did but I can't really confirm whether it did or not but it's definitely been around for uh, I guess what modern science would say would probably be you know at least 2,000 years. Now uh, street performing is quite an interesting one because obviously there's lots of different things that you can do for the street performing, although I have found music tends to be the most common, you know, whether that be through playing an instrument or singing um, or, you know, dancing. And, you know, some people like to have their usual spots that they go to really regularly. And some people actually prefer to travel around and to find new spots quite often. Um, I like the idea of traveling around more because then you're actually sharing the gifts um, with potentially more people and also, it brings more spontaneity to it. Um, you don't get so stuck in like I, I always have this one spot. It kind of gives like a rotation of, of, you know, coming into different spaces and sharing that space with other street performers. You know, when you turn up and someone is performing in the street, you know, it's common courtesy to not perform right next to them. But then there's all these kind of um, strange unwritten rules sometimes where people who have been busking in the same street performing in the same place for a very long time can be very protective of of that one space and they really don't want anyone absolutely anywhere near the space so yeah you have to be mindful of that I guess um, to a certain extent and uh, you know some people they will go by the book they'll get licenses um, to perform and some people don't they'll just turn up at a place and there is a bit of a knack to it um, because obviously I'm not here to promote anyone to do anything that I don't feel comfortable with and nor am I promoting any kind of illegal activity as well um, that's my little disclaimer in this and um, you know and some people like to play or should I say perform at night you know maybe in spaces where there could be a lot of alcohol fueled um, places and, and people and um, that has a monetary benefit or can have a monetary benefit to it in the sense that people often find that they can make more money when they play in those spaces however sometimes those spaces are not very comfortable and um, can be a little bit disheartening to play in whereas other people might prefer to play during the day 
in um, places where you know there might be more children around and so they're they're performing um, to bring joy into into children and to you know the everyday person who basically usually isn't under the consumption of alcohol at the time yeah I just sort of bring that up because it's interesting how when performances are, are done in alcohol fueled places how money seems to be given very easily um you know and so for some people this is like their lifestyle like you can do it as a full-time job I mean I wouldn't really call it a, a job it's 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 a lifestyle you know and um everyone has their own perceptions on that and that's okay too and for some people it's more of a hobby so it's something that they might do if they might have, you know, maybe a part-time job or maybe they have another full-time job, something else, um, but they still like getting out there and performing on the street. And, you know, I guess what I would encourage is that, you know, if you have an art that you really like sharing and uh, you want to um, you know, get paid to practice sharing that art, then um, busking or well, street performing can actually be a really um, really cool way to do that you know like I understand there can be some blocks that people have um, to do that and you know there, there could be some physical things that prevents people from doing that and I'm understandable of that however if you, there's not many a lot of physical things preventing you and you really want to do it um, then most of the blocks you have are probably more emotional and psychological which can always be worked through uh, I would recommend maybe going out with somebody else who does um, street performance in something that you really like or someone that you feel like you could work in conjunction with. It always, um, well from my experience, it kind of provides a little bit more, of, a little more of a comfort um, but you don't have to do it that way either. Uh, it's just always nice to, to go out with a friend. In this case, I'm often street performing with my partner at this point. So, yeah, it's really fun, and I really love seeing people's reactions um, to to the performance. And yeah, and I find moving about in different places. So if you play one place for an hour, then go to another place and play there for an hour, it um, it just brings like a new energy instead of trying to continually play for like two or three hours in the same place. I'm not saying that's how you have to do it. I'm just saying that like, that's um, definitely more my, my preference at this point and um, that's also how like my partner tends to perform as well and they've been doing it for many years now and so um, yeah you, you can actually make quite a good income out of it too so I won't go too much into that um, obviously that's not the main reason as to why people do it it's more because they have an art that they want to share and um, you know what a great way to share it than just to play it on, on the street for anyone and everyone to see so that's my little vlog on busking i'll probably be doing more in-depth vlogs in the future and maybe even putting in um, some actual um, full-length performances as well so if you want to contact me some more about this you're more than welcome to you can in the comment section down below and you can also contact me through the various social media links that you will find in the description box down below and I'll see you next time.